haven't done a weekend vlog in a while. If that's a sign of laziness, then I'm very lazy. Welcome back to another video. Today is Saturday. I've just had a pretty chill, slow start to the day, which I have absolutely no complaints about. It's a long weekend, so I've decided to take you guys along for a little weekend in my life. I made a super aesthetic breakfast, which never happens. I'm just kidding, it wasn't that aesthetic, but I did try making tempeh today, and this is probably my second time ever attempting to cook that food product. The first time I made it, I definitely didn't do it right because I was really confused about what I was eating and today I still don't know if I did it right but the flavor was there so that was my little breakfast adventure. <laughs> Since then I've just had like I said a pretty chill day. I have been reading Book Lovers. This is my current read by Emily Henry. If you ever hear of any rom-com books I feel like Emily Henry is very often mentioned and this one's pretty popular. So far, I'm really liking it. I was reading Remarkably Bright Creatures right before this and that book sent me in an emotional spiral. Like it just touches on some topics that are kind of heavy, but in like a fun way, I would say. I do recommend it and I enjoyed it, but I just needed something that was kind of like a little more cheerful, a little happier, something that'll make me swoon a little bit. So I'm so far just on like, I think the third chapter and I would love to be able to finish this this weekend because I was kind of taking my time with the last book just because it was so heavy it felt like but we love a good romance over here. Also made myself a little cup of tea and I'm just gonna continue reading a little bit. I have a date night tonight with my boyfriend. He made a reservation for this restaurant in downtown Toronto that I've actually never tried before which I thought was really sweet so we're gonna do that and I'm probably gonna clean it a little bit because I have have a few things that I've been really wanting to tidy up so you can probably expect a cleaning montage in a few seconds but I just wanted to welcome you to the vlog and I hope you enjoy coming along for the next couple days and this weekend in my life in Toronto <laughs> waves in my hair in so long. I've just been so tired of my hair recently because I haven't had it dyed at least since before Christmas. Because my hair is naturally black, it gets brassy, so it's just very noticeable for me. I don't know. We're gonna be trying a new restaurant for us. It's not a new restaurant itself, but it's called Dasha in Toronto. Trevor had seen an ad for it on Instagram, I think, and we're like, why don't we, why don't we treat ourselves and go out, have a little date night. I will quickly show you what I'm wearing, but I promise you it's really nothing exciting. It's actually funny because I was reading last night when I started the book and within the first chapter, I think there was some mention of someone wearing all black and that can be like a sign of laziness or something. And I mean, it is very true because gone are the days of me feeling like I need a different outfit for every occasion. I've seen a lot of people talk about no slash low buy months or years even, and I'm really, really considering doing that, but I don't know. I feel like by default, I just haven't been buying clothes for, well, that's not true. I did buy the pants that I'm wearing a few weeks ago, but apart from that, I have not bought any clothes in a really really long time which makes sense because i just have so much stuff if you guys have seen my decluttering video you would know the volume of items i have is you know definitely up there yeah it used to be like if you had something you were going to you had to go buy something new or you don't want to wear the same outfit more than once every occasion that i've had in the past 
few months where I've had to go out, I have more than likely worn all black. And if that's a sign of laziness, then I'm very lazy because it's just easier. Probably by the time spring and summer come around, my outfit choices will actually have some dimension to them. But for now, we're just sticking with all black. These were the pants I was saying I just got. They're actually from Amazon and they are in fact a little bit too big, but otherwise I think they're cute. I would say these are ideal if you know you're gonna eat food because they're a little baggier. The food apparently seems pretty good there. I was looking at pictures. Looks promising. So... It is the next day, it is currently Sunday. I've just spent the morning getting my video uploaded. Sundays are typically my upload days, by the way, but I don't know. Do you guys prefer to have specific days that videos are uploaded? Or I thought about trying to do just like one video a week without a specific day. I typically upload on Sundays, but to be honest, I feel like I might try to give myself a bit more flexibility with that. So in case you guys start to see videos not on Sunday, I'll probably put a community post just to make sure you guys know, but that is something that I'm thinking about. But anyways, we went to Dasha last night, like I told you guys, and oh my gosh, I ended up meeting one of you, one of my subscribers, which is the first time that has ever happened. So shout out to Sarah who worked at Dasha. We were checking in to get our table and she was working at the front and she was like, are you Celine? And this has actually never happened to me before. So it was very, very sweet and I'm so glad that she said hi. And she was saying that she had watched me for two years, which is so crazy. Yeah, I just wanted to give her a little shout out. And if you guys ever do see me, please do say hi. I have this fear of like, being socially awkward when I meet people, but we're working on it and I would love to definitely say hi if you guys ever do see me. So that was really, really cute. I'm supposed to be getting ready, by the way. I got, I got distracted. We ended up going to a couple bars around King Street, which is basically like, I don't know if you'd call it entertainment district or whatever, but that area has, yeah, a lot of bars and that type of vibe. I have talked about this a couple times, but I'm not really drinking these days. I didn't really make the decision to never ever drink. For the most part, if we're going out and there's a nice cocktail menu, then I'll probably take a look. And there was a really cute cocktail menu at Dasha. I got the matcha sour, which was really good. But on a regular basis, I'm probably good without drinking, which started to kind of be a thing for me in the past, I'd say like year or so. But we just decided because it was like a little date night, and the bars were kind of close by. I had never gone to the ones that we ended up stopping in at, so it was nice to see what the hype was about in a few spots. I felt like such a grandma though, if I'm being honest. I was like already thinking about my bedtime routine <laughs> and getting home to read my book. Apart from feeling like a grandma when I was there, I feel so bloated this morning and it's not even funny. Like I'm wearing leggings right now, but they still feel so <laughs> uncomfortable and I'm 99% sure that it's just from the drinks that I had. I didn't even drink that much. Like I had a few cocktails over the span of several hours, but it still makes you feel some type of way. It's just crazy how quickly your body can show you signs when it's not happy. I think as I'm getting older, I start to notice a bit more, but I'm sure I'm not the only one that <laughs> feels that way. I also meant to mention that I'm currently getting ready because I've decided to go for a little adventure. I've never been to the library in Toronto before. Growing up, I did go to the library quite a bit. This was like back in the day when you would go to the library to get access to the computer, right? So that was like one use case for the library. I would also go obviously to get books and when you got to a certain point, I feel like libraries weren't weren't cool anymore for some reason. But now I just realized, if you guys don't know, I read all my books on Kindle, which 
has worked really well for me because that was kind of like my gateway into reading as I wanted something to take me away from scrolling on social media. That's kind of what helped me rekindle reading was my Kindle. But I gotta say, seeing people with their physical books always gives me a little bit of FOMO but I actually haven't bought any physical books in a long time because we don't have any space for it especially living in a condo it just feels like it adds a lot of clutter that I don't necessarily want to deal with and the great thing about the library is you can get the experience of a physical book and then just give it back so it all makes sense to me and I would love to get a library card because I don't have one yet so that's what we're gonna do today We are back from my little library adventure. Despite me bringing this big bag, I actually only got two books. And then Trevor and I stopped at Tim Hortons and just had like a little snack and tea. So like you guys saw, I ended up getting my library card. This is the first library card that I've had in years. Decades even. I think I did say before going that the library was part of my childhood and I haven't ever been inside of a library in Toronto since I moved here. Yeah, it's really easy to get a library card. You just need to give your driver's license or some form of ID with your address and they just give it to you right on the spot. I kind of thought there would be a bigger selection of fiction and they didn't really have genres within each section it was just like a big section for fiction and non-fiction and then there was one subsection of mystery books which i just thought was so random because there were no other genres and i don't really read mystery but then i kept wandering around and i just had such a nice time and i wanted to give myself the opportunity to just look at books that i typically wouldn't be drawn towards because admittedly i do get a lot of my book recommendations from the booktube community. There weren't that many super popular books. I'm pretty sure most of the good books or the books that I was looking for were already taken out, but I did look around anyways and I originally had three books that I really wanted and then one of them, apparently there was a hole in it or something, so I couldn't take that one out. If I did, then I would have had three books, but instead I have these two, which I'm still very excited about. Neither of these I would probably have considered or picked up without going to the library. This one is called The House of Broken Angels. I was drawn to it because this author is apparently a Pulitzer Prize finalist. It also has pretty large letters and spacing, which I think will help me get through this from a physical book perspective. And then the next book I got is a little rom-com. This one is called Reasonable Adults. And I was intrigued by this one in particular because when I was reading the synopsis of it, it actually mentions Muskoka, which which is in Ontario. Lots of cabins there and lakes. And this is a story basically about this lady who ends up in Muskoka for a retreat. When I flipped through it, there was actually like other references of Vancouver and Canada. So I just thought it was kind of cute. I haven't really read any stories based on local cities and places that I can relate to so I thought I'd enjoy it for that reason. I'm excited to get into this. I am currently reading like you guys have seen Book Lovers which is a rom-com as well so I think I'm gonna finish Book Lovers because I've already started it and I want to give it a fair chance and then I think I'm gonna get on to this book because I have the physical copy and then I'm gonna end it with this one. Trevor just went to the gym. I think I'm gonna go with him tomorrow, but today I do have a video I need to finish editing and then I'll catch you guys up in a little bit, probably when we make some dinner tonight. All right, you guys, it is quite a bit later. I'm gonna make dinner now. I was trying to find something that was simple and easy in the fridge. We absolutely love these packs. It's from Miss 
Lynn Crawford, I believe is this lady's name. She is a Canadian chef, if I'm not mistaken. And these packs you can find at the grocery store in Toronto. We always get this one. I know there's a few other flavors and it comes with the shrimp, it comes with the sauce. You just need to make the pasta. We usually put a little bit of vegetables in here as well, just to add, you know, some whole foods, but it's so quick and so easy. So this is definitely one of our staples. I don't know if it's gonna help with my bloating considering it's pasta, but I don't have any other food in the fridge right now. I think tomorrow is gonna be our grocery day, but it's also a holiday, so that's tomorrow's problem. We'll figure out how to make it work then. But until then, let's make some dinner and then I think we're gonna have a little movie night tonight as well. Good morning. All right, it is Monday. So today is basically the holiday. I just got back from walking Bean and it is freezing cold outside. It is minus five to minus 10 basically. And it definitely felt like that. My lips are so dry. We're gonna go for a little brunch given that it is, you know, family day in Canada. I feel like we don't go out for brunch very often, but we also don't really have groceries. So it's perfect to get outside and enjoy the fact that it's nice and sunny, even though it's minus five degrees. I cannot find my lineage anywhere. This looks so bad. I'm not really sure what else we'll do today, but I feel like most places are kind of closed, so we probably don't have that much planned. Might end up going to the gym, we'll see, but just enjoying the fact that it's a day off and it's sunny. What more could you ask for? Workout. We ended up getting some takeout. This is poke. I feel like we haven't had this in a little while, have we? I did defrost some fish to cook, but sometimes the motivation just isn't there. But this looks so freaking good. So that's gonna be a wrap on this video. I feel like it was the perfect amount of weekend. A little bit of everything, I feel like, but also very low key. And I feel relaxed, recharged, and ready for the week ahead. This is a torched ahi tuna bowl. I love a good torched poke bowl. Thank you guys so much for coming along. Make sure to like this video if you haven't already yet and check out other videos from me on the screen and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>